Now, a woman who was terribly injured in an accident on a London underground train track has been demonstrating the benefits of a new bionic arm, which she says can read her mind. It is the first of its kind in the world. Sarah de Lagarde says she can once again hug her children. They now liken her to a superhero. 80% human, 20% robot. That is how Sarah de Lagarde describes herself. Her bionic arm is an incredible medical and technological advancement. She controls it with just her mind. Can you explain how it actually works? Yes, I have to think. I want to make a movement. Then I twitch a sequence of muscles and then it creates electrical impulses via a server that is based in the, in the forearm that then translated into a movement for the fingers. A year ago, Sarah slipped while on the London Underground and fell through the gap between the train and platform. She was hit by two trains, losing her arm and leg. It was a gruelling process to learn to walk again. But this new technology from a company in Leeds has allowed her life to return far more to where it was. It took eight months of physical training to get her shoulders strong enough to bear the weight of the bionic arm. What was the first thing you did once it was all up and running? I gave my kids a hug <laughs> and I was actually a bit worried about it because it was a beautiful moment but at the same time I thought okay this, the arm should better behave and not squeeze them too much. <laughs> and what do they think of it? They think that I'm you know a superhero. The arm which is taken off and charged like a mobile phone each night contains artificial intelligence so it learns from Sarah's movements to make them more smooth in the future. Grab it and then I can do the cutting. Sarah had to fundraise a quarter of a million pounds to pay for the bionic arm, but hopes that by showing how much of a difference it makes, the NHS may consider buying them in the future for other amputees. Sam Holder, News at 10. Amazing story.